Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We are back inside uh, due to the weather. We were outside as long as we could be, but uh, it started snowing, so we figured we'd uh, come inside. We've got a fun iron test today. Uh, we've got three models released throughout 2020, uh, throughout the summer and the fall here. So um, we've got the Callaway X Forge CB, the Mizuno JPX 921 Forged, and the TaylorMade P770. So three models kind of in that player's distance to player's iron category. So um, Thomas, I know you, we've tested all three of these. They're all on our YouTube channel already. And now we get to compare them all against one another. So what do you know about these models and what do you think we're going to see? Yeah, it's been an exciting last two or three months for Callaway, Mizuno, and TaylorMade with their kind of new irons that they've released out here in, in the early fall. I'm expecting to see maybe a little bit of distance but with a little bit of workability with all of these three models. Yeah. And they're not in kind of in that game improvement category. You kind of said they touch kind of borderline in the distance player's iron category. Um, I think the Mizuno iron, I maybe expect that one to go just a little bit further. Yeah. JPX 921 Forge, just because the loft's a little bit stronger. And I would consider that maybe more in the distance player's iron category. Yeah. Um, but the X Forge CB and the P770, 33 degrees of loft, pretty close to kind of traditional lofts. So maybe not expect them to go quite as far, maybe be a little bit more workable. For me, maybe a little more appealing to kind of look, look at, seeing a little more loft on the golf club. So I'm, I'm excited to test these. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna hit eight shots with each model. So we're gonna hit four shots originally, then we're gonna circle back and hit four more just to make sure this is unbiased as possible. Got the Project X LZ 6.5 golf shaft. Um, so that's the golf shaft I've been playing. Uh, and then we've got the Titleist Probably One X golf ball that we're gonna also test with. Nice, yeah, we got a great test set up for today. Um, golfers, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for our channel for more videos coming here in the future. So Thomas, let's get and hit some shots, huh? All right, let's do it. All right, Thomas, so we'll start with the Callaway X Forge CB um, right at 33 degrees of loft. Uh, I know you're pretty excited about these two as one of the recent releases of irons here. Yeah, I have played the X-Forged irons in a combo set with my current irons that I'm currently playing. So new model is always exciting yeah. to hit. Absolutely, yeah. and of course these are, you know, they added some mim weighting, right? Both inside and outside uh, that can be seen uh, on the club head there. So, uh, and we tested already and it uh, proved to be a solid iron. Um, so now we can kind of test it out with you know, a couple other manufacturers and their models and see how it performs. Yeah, it's been interesting to hear the feedback from viewers so far. Yeah. Haven't maybe been so much of a fan of seeing this plate in the back. Yeah. Just think of it as a way to help the player out. And also yeah. helps Callaway to make it a little bit more efficient without sacrificing mm -hmm. the CG location when they're making swing weight adjustments. So you can't see it address. So right. that's what I tell golfers is when I'm looking down at it, I don't see it at all. So yeah. I don't even know this is here. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that's, yeah. and again, this is all player preference and stuff. I know uh, when you're looking down at that, and I, I mean, I, I feel the same way, of course. When you look down at the club yeah. address, you're not seeing any of the, you know, a lot of people talk about the screw with the Apex MB, and then, of course, that plate on the back of this one. But it's there for performance, and it's there yeah. for, and of course, with the Apex MB, it's there for adjustability and swing weighting. So it's there for a reason. It's not just there to, I know, don't no think it's going anywhere anytime soon yeah. either. I think in future models, we might see similar things, not even maybe with Cali, but other equipment manufacturers mm -hmm. as well. So. Sure. Well, let's, uh, let's rip some shots here, huh? Sounds good. All right, Thomas, we've talked a little bit before on previous videos and actually before, you know, hit the shots about the appearance and the feel, but um, can you give us your feedback on that part again? It feels incredibly soft off the face. Was it the uh, Forge 1025 Carbon? You know, it is designed to be a very, very soft feel off, mm -hmm. off the face and it sure does feel pretty soft. So I do like that Forge feel with the, um, X Forge CB irons, they are uh, you know pretty look good to look down at as well. Yeah. So fairly compact to look down at for a you know cavity back, um, pretty sleek looking club. 
you know, not the thinnest of top lines compared to blades or anything like that, but it's a good looking club to look down at. Um, one thing I did notice is with the consistency on those first three shots at least, it looked like it was like 191 carry every single time. The last one was, I think, 188. A little shorter, but, but yeah. you know, you got, yeah, I mean, you're at 191, 191, 191. 191. So. <laughs> Not too yeah. bad there, yeah. and you know the spin is a little lower, and I think that's just the way you're hitting the ball now. It is, yeah. Uh, I know you mentioned that even before we started as well. The spin lately, when I've been hitting on TrackMan, a little bit lower than usual, so yep. um, that might be a little lower than maybe uh, in the past. But at, at, we're in the same environment. You're gonna, uh, well, we should see the same numbers yeah. roughly with um, the other two models that we test. But yeah. uh, just to give people an idea on that spin rate. Right now, what I've been testing track with TrackMan inside is I've been getting spin rate about 5,500 with 7-iron, okay. which is a little on the lower side. With your 7-iron? With my 7-iron, yeah. yeah, which has about 34 degrees of loft on it. Okay. Touching it on loft, this club's got 33. So yeah. that's why the spin rate is just a little bit lower. Sure, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I mean, the carry on average, 190, you know, total is yeah. just about 200. Um, you know, pretty good start there, and you got that nice little draw working, of course. You got, uh, you know, 11 feet of curve to the left. Yeah. So, it is solid. Can, yep. Now we can uh, transition to the Mizuno JPX 921 Forged. Sounds good. Pretty good. All right, Thomas, I know you love the feel of Mizuno irons, especially the forged ones, right? Yep. That grain flow forging process has been pretty spectacular for Mizuno for a long time now. And uh, they've, of course, constructed these JPX 921 forged irons that same way. And uh, I know we've tested those as well before, and the same feedback applies. It's just that feel is incredible. Yeah, still a very, very soft forged feel. Um, once you've really hit a few Mizuno irons, everyone would understand the feel of a Mizuno iron off the, off the face. That forged feel is definitely incredible. Yeah. Um, one thing I do notice kind of looking down at the club, it does look maybe a little larger from heel to toe versus the, um, the Callaway X Forge CB. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe slightly more forgiving. I can notice the loft just a little bit. I know the loft on this one, 31 yeah. degrees on the seven iron versus 33 with the uh, Callaway X-Forge CB. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that might've related to distance a little bit and maybe a little more ball speed. Yeah, yeah. So that, I mean, you can see the, the circles up there, um, you know, clearly a little bit extra distance with the forged and that's largely due to two degrees stronger on the loft. Um, the spin was actually pretty similar they're at yeah. a little bit less. Yeah. Both, I mean, just a little less. Both are over uh, a little over 5,000. Then you got, you know, extra, what, five yards of carry and total, uh, which is, can, again, like you said, can be attributed to two degrees uh, lower in loft there. So, yep. It's kind of what you would expect. Um, you can see the bull speed, yeah, about two, two and a half miles an hour faster um, yep. with the JPX 921. I was, I was thinking, what, one? mile an hour faster, so it's always important to look at the smash factors. This is smash factor, you know, 148. This yep. is giving some pretty strong smash factor yeah. readings today with both irons there, but yeah. yeah. Good good numbers. Yeah, now we can get to the TaylorMade P770. Okay. All right, well, Thomas, first thing I noticed was a difference in sound. I felt like that one was a little bit louder than the other two models that you've hit so far. Did you get that same impression? It was definitely a little louder, but the one thing I 
can't uh, get over is wow how easy thing this thing is to hit. Yeah. It just felt like I hit the same shot every single time. It's a great looking club as well. I mean, look, I'm comparing the offset a little bit to the other two. Maybe a little bit less offset, but it's... I've always raved with TaylorMade on the P790 how well that club's been. It's just a little sleeker version of the P790. Yeah, and that could but be why I, I heard a little bit extra sound. Yeah is that it is built very similar to the P790, where you got that speed foam, kind of built for distance, right? Mm -hmm. um, got the speed pocket a little bit for a little bit of forgiveness there as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, pretty good. I was pretty impressed. And you mentioned hit the same shot every time. Well, look at that little uh, purple oval right there. That is pretty small. And you had every single one of them was kind of started right on that center line and then drew over a little bit. And yep. that's pretty repeatable right there. Yeah, that was really, really solid numbers with, with, with this club. I was pretty impressed. So 33 degrees of loft. So for the comparison purposes here, I mean, we yep. can look over here and see a bit of a difference in ball speed from TaylorMade to Callaway, the x 4 CB and yep. P770. They're on the same loft. I um, was swinging a mile an hour yes. faster. So yep. that's why we're going to definitely come back and hit four more with each one to make yep. sure this is a little more unbiased there. But I always like the smash factor numbers. You scroll back just a little bit there. 147, 146. So pretty kind of yeah. similar in okay. terms of efficiency between the two of them there. Yep. Um, yeah, it was just going about four yards further. I was swinging about a mile and a half out further than the Callaway. But yeah. really good. Yeah. All right, well, now we can circle back to Callaway, X Forge CB. Okay, sounds good. All right, good one to end on. Yeah, I mean, four shots again there, Callaway, X Forge, CB. Um, you know, right away there was the sort of a miss hit in there um, that kind of dropped, what, maybe five, five to ten, ten yards, yards shorter. of carry yep. distance. Um, but, you know, second time around, Thomas, what would you think of the Callaway, X Forge, CB? Yeah, I think from a forgiveness standpoint between them, say the X Forge, CB is maybe not quite as forgiving as the other two models. Probably more of a more workable golf club. Mm -hmm. Slightly sleeker look looking down at it. Um, doesn't maybe have quite as much kind of forgiveness behind it. It's probably slightly touched more towards kind of the, the player's side. Yeah. I had a couple of misses in there. Now I've still got four more with each other one to see how these circles expand or don't expand. But yeah. you can see that it was a couple of misses that went a little bit shorter with the X Forge CB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know. If if we're going to kind of put a spectrum, right, of maybe one side of the spectrum is a complete player's iron, one is squarely in the player's distance category, you would think that X Forge CB out of these three would be closest to the player's iron. Correct. Yep. Whereas you probably would put JPX 921 Forge closest to the player's distance category. Yep. Uh, so that's where, you, in the you know, comparing forgiveness, you'd see something like that. So looking at the, how it appears at address after hitting all three and coming back to this one, uh, do you have any takeaways there in terms of top line, uh, the head shape, anything like that? Slightly more compact compared to the other two. Okay. I'd say, for me, I could see a little bit more kind of squaring off on the toe. So okay. it's a little more square as opposed to kind of rounded. Yeah. Um, top line, probably the sleekest of, of, the, of the three, just ever so slightly. Um, P770 was pretty close with this. P770 did have, look like it had just a little bit less offset than this model as well. But we're talking pretty minimal yeah. at this point with regards to offset between these models. They're not a game improvement where you're going to see a whole bunch of offset, but you can definitely notice just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. These are kind of the, those irons that if you're, you're looking for something that you want to work a little bit, but you still want that added forgiveness, these three models are going to be kind of up your alley here. And so, uh, but with that said, the Callaway does have the most probably workability of these three models here, the X4CB. So, yep. Uh, now we can go back to the Mizuno JPX 921 Forged. Sounds good.
but that one I feel like I didn't quite catch. But the forgiveness on that was really good. That was hit really well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah numbers I, wise, yeah. Yeah, the numbers on that last one are you know you, they kept up, right? And you said you maybe missed it slightly, uh, but looking at you know the dispersion doesn't seem like you missed it. So yeah. no, uh, you just maybe knocked just a little bit yeah. of spin off of that. Yeah, perhaps, which is maybe what um, kind of jumped up. Well, it jumped a little bit. Down the yep. fairway, yeah. But uh, so one thing clearly here that we're noticing a trend, the, for, for you, the JPX 921 Forge, a bit more difficult turnover and hit your draw. Yep. And you know, maybe some of that is attributed to the lie angle. So the lie angle on Mizuno irons traditionally has been a little more flat than other irons. This one, the lie angle. 61 and a half degrees compared to 62 for the x Forge CB and 62 and a half for the TaylorMade P770. So that could be playing into a little bit as well. Yep, that and the combination maybe a little bit less loft as well. A little less loft, sometimes a little bit harder sure. to turn a club over as well there as well. But yeah, you're right. I definitely, you can see I only had one left of the center line. Yep. Then I had seven to the kind of right of the, of the center line with, with the Mizuno. I think there's one on top of each other there. Um, one yellow dot on top of another mm -hmm. one there. Um, but yeah, you can see the other ones I was able to turn over just a little bit easier. So interesting. So important with club fitting, if you are going this route, the Mizuno JPX Forge is to work with your club fitter on line angle. Yeah. Keep in mind, generally half a degree to a degree flatter compared to other models. Yeah, because that's one thing that you know, I had some actually experience with. You know, I'd been playing Mizuno irons for uh, a long time before I got fit, and I didn't even realize that you know my miss was to the right, and part of that was just the lie angle was flatter than I needed uh, yep. on the standard lie angle, and so that's one thing that uh, you know Mizuno irons traditionally now, of course, custom fit irons and the fitting here you can get that tweaked pretty easily, but um, that's one thing to consider, and uh, with these Mizuno JPX 921 forged irons, and one thing too, again, forgiveness, and then. Uh, I'm sure that feel and look as well was still superb from Mizuno. Um, and then comparing it back to the X-Force CB, did you notice anything different or are you still kind of thinking X-Force CB is the most compact so far? Yeah, X-Force CB definitely the most compact compared to these two for sure. Um, very similar kind of that satin kind of finish so they're not like shiny or yeah. anything like that. So you know, there was much glare going on with the two models. I did notice the P770 just had a little bit more shininess to okay. it at, at appearance. Um, but you know, inside you can't see it as much, but when you get, get outside and you're in the sun, that could definitely be a, you know, something to consider when you're mm -hmm. playing as well. So. Sure, well let's hit the last four shots here, the P770, and see how much uh, bigger, if anything, this, uh, this circle gets here. All right, sounds good. maybe oh yeah it wasn't bad so that one I feel like a slightly miss hit as well but pretty good yeah so you you say you slightly miss hit the last one there yeah. the spin rate dropped again and so yeah that last one at just under 5,000 but yep. I, I mean look at that circle right there with the <laughs> tailor-made p770 that's eight shots it's uh, these is this is actually two of them right here yeah. Uh, so I think in terms of dispersion, we have, you know, TaylorMade P770 did pretty well here. Yeah, I definitely like that little drawer. Yeah. And I was able to hit that little drawer every single time with this club. Mm -hmm. I was drawing maybe, it was between kind of like 10 and 25 feet, I feel like it was overall on, on, on average. 25 feet on average. But yeah. you'll notice Al left every yep. single time with, with that shot there as well. Curve to the left with every so, single one. Yeah. So from a consistency standpoint, this thing did what I wanted it to do every single time. Mm -hmm. So that, that impressed me for sure. Um, I mean, Taylor made P790 in the past has done really well for me in testing. This is pretty solid club. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's built with the same DNA as they have kind of um, you know, promoted it as, right? The same DNA, just yep. a little smaller. 
a little and bit weaker loft, so it's not going to carry right. over 200 yards for me, yeah. like we've seen in some testing with the P790. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but it, it was, certainly sounds yeah. similar, right? It's not quite as pronounced, that sort of, uh, you know, loud impact sound. Yep. Uh, but it sort of has that same cadence to it where it's just, you can tell it's the hollow body um, and then the speed foam in there too. Mm -hmm. So you can tell that's a little bit louder, but I mean, if you can hit a draw like that, where it starts basically at your target, or as I guess in this case on the center line, and peel over a little bit left every shot, which is exactly what happened eight in a row here, that's, you're gonna have a, a winner there. Yeah, no, I'm very impressed with 770. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good, good, good looking club and a very, you know, the numbers so far haven't kind of lied at all. Well, we have a bunch of data here, Thomas. Why don't we take a look at them and see what else we can find out. All right, sounds good. All right, Thomas, we got the numbers there. Uh, looking at the, first of all, all three of these models look very good. Uh, you can, I think you're, to your point now, after having them in hand, I can see that the Callaway X4CB is probably the most compact of the three. Uh, but we've got the numbers now, so um, what are we going to find out? So, club speed. Interesting that the 770 and the JPX 920 and Forge 89.6, both the exact same with club speed. 88.6 with the Callaway. So I didn't quite swing the Callaway as fast. Mm -hmm. We did cycle back and forth, so we did four, came back at four more with each one. But you'll notice it didn't quite swing it quite as fast. Yeah. So that's maybe a little bit why the ball speed is just a little bit lower than the P770, if you're gonna compare those two with the same amount of loft on each other, with each other. But you would notice the smash factor 146 with the P770 and smash factor 144 with the Callaway x -Force. So for regards to an efficiency standpoint, I did hit the 770 more solid if you're comparing yeah. those two clubs because they've got the same amount of loft. Um, the JPX 921 Forged has two degrees less loft on the club, so I would expect that ball speed number to be a little bit faster and that efficiency number to be even faster yet. Yeah. So 147 with, with that. Um, I'd also expect JPX 921 Forged to also spin the least as well because it has two degrees less loft on it. You would notice it was spinning about 100 RPMs less than the Callaway X Forge CB, about 60 RPMs less than P770. So it wasn't a lot, um, but it was definitely kind of enough in separation to see that loft yeah. was doing its job. Also, part of the reason why the JPX 921 Forge was spinning close to the other two models with two degrees more loft is to do with the direction the ball was going. So the direction the ball is going a little to the right, it's going to spin a little bit more, sure. as opposed to the direction the ball going to the left, it's going to spin kind of a little bit less. So the fact that I couldn't turn that Mizuno JPX 921 forged over is why it's spinning close to the sure. loft of the, uh, the other two models. And you can also see that here, if we scroll across right here to dynamic loft, we'll notice there's supposed to be a two degree difference between these models. So you'll notice P770 and X-Forge 21, 21.9, 21.3. Well, I'd expect about two degree difference in dynamic loft, 21.1. Okay. That was me having a hard time getting that club face to turn over quite as much. Whether that's the loft difference, whether that's the mm -hmm. line angle difference, could be a combination of those two. Right. Um, but that's why the ball was spinning a little bit more and not going yeah, quite as because far. Because when you have the club face open at impact, that loft is at a dress or when you at at impact, the loft is actually higher, Correct. right? Yeah. When, yeah. Versus when it's closed or actually right at your target. Exactly. Um, let's see, face angle. Uh, JPX 920 Forged was the most open of them all, 2.7 yeah. degrees. Um, as the curve was, on average, was curving three feet to the right, where the other two were curving 23 and 25 feet to the left. Mm -hmm. So definitely something to pay attention to. I mentioned if you're getting fit for Mizuno irons, make sure you get that line angle checked out because yeah. that's going to be important to get the ball to start and fly straight. Yeah, we'll especially yeah. if you do struggle with a miss to the right like I did before, right? Something to look at and make sure that that's dialed in. And if you want to correct that a little bit, keep it, uh, maybe turn your ball over to the left a little bit more, that's maybe one of the first places to start. Yeah, it's, it's sneaky. I wish all the manufacturers had the exact same line angle on their seven irons and yeah. kind of as we're testing here. but. There's subtle differences. Yeah. And it's important to work with a club fitter to make sure you kind yeah. of pay attention to that as well. Um, jumping back to uh, distance, I would expect the club that has the least amount of loft on it, the JPX 921, to go the furthest. So 196.5 carry. 
P770 wasn't far behind, yeah. uh, 194.2, so it was only two yards less, um, even though the loft difference on the P770 is two degree weaker. Mm. I usually say every degree of loft is about three to four yards, but we're not quite seeing that there. So we're seeing how efficient I was hitting that P770. Yeah. I was really hitting it well. Mm -hmm. Um, Kelly X Forge, with it being a little bit more of a kind of in the player's iron kind of category, yeah. uh, maybe slightly sleeker top line, a little more compact from heel to toe. It didn't quite hit it as far. I mean, I'm still t we're still talking about 189 carry here, the seven iron, so it's right. not like it wasn't going far yeah. or anything like that. Um, but it was just a little bit behind, and a little bit to do with having that one miss hit in there as well. I had yeah. that one. I said leave it up there because you know, you might as well show all the data, show all the forgiveness level wasn't quite as forgiving as the other two models. Yeah. That was the point to make here is, you know, of these, like we mentioned before, the Cali X4 CB, probably the most um, in that player's iron category, whereas these other two do have elements of them that maybe point towards player's distance, where um, you'll maybe get a little bit more forgiveness out of them, whereas the X4 CB, probably a more workable iron than the other two models here. Yep. Uh, just touching to finish up here, spin rate. So I mentioned what I've noticed with my testing recently, that my spin rate of my seven irons being around 5,500, it's just a little bit kind of on the lower side. The good news with all these models is the height and the landing angle was you know, steep enough, so the ball is still going to stop pl pl plenty fast enough, essentially. Yeah. So we're talking 194 going 202 with the P770. You know, it's, it's stopping within eight yards, stopping here within nine yards, stopping here within nine yards. So. Plenty of stopping power of all the models with a seven iron, even though the spin rate was just slightly on the, on the lower side in testing here today. But yeah. very, very good numbers. I'm really impressed with the P770 with the dispersion pattern and how basically I hit it every single, straight every single time with a little bit of a draw. Uh, Mizuno was just sneaky to the right, and then the x Forge was maybe not quite as forgiving, but maybe a little more workable. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think all three of these manufacturers, you know, these have been kind of in the summer to the fall sort of releases in 2020 here and you know, I think all three are, are winners right and they're gonna fit that golfer that does hit the ball pretty well and it's gonna depend on what you're looking for so you know the golfers if you're looking for a little bit more forgiveness maybe then you may want to look at the P770s or the JPX 921 Forged uh, but if you want that extra workability and uh, maybe aren't as focused on forgiveness that's where the Callaway X4 CB uh, will be, you know, to your benefit. So uh, three new iron models here through uh, 2020 uh, to check out at Second Swing Golf uh, in our stores or through our online website at secondswing.com. Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots and discussing the data.